Hey guys, RC here, back with Football Manager 20. Climbing the ladder, our journeyman save. We're in our first season with Lebendorf in Austria. And uh, last episode, we had the top of the table matchup. Uh, we came back, we beat Union Volklamark 2-0. Goals from Philip Somner and Stefan Gobb. And then Vacher Innsbruck 2-0. Philip Somner, Stan Dreesen with the goals. Barsanti was sent off in the 81st minute. So we're back for LASK Linz in the Cup today, second round, and Lifering uh, in a home match. So let's get to that. Taking a quick look at the squad. Philip Somner's got five goals. Petrov in the midfield has four. Uh, Havernak has two. And Barsanti has gotten on the score sheet, our new Italian striker. And I want to give him some matches, but unfortunately he is suspended. <sighs> it is what it is. Competition-wise, we are in third position, 15 points after eight played with five wins and three losses, five po uh, plus five goal differential. We're not doing badly. We were only expected a mid-table. So we've, we've been in a good shape lately. Uh, four wins in a row after our last defeat. We are the underdogs today, and we are on the road. So we are going to play our away tactic. That would be correct. All right, Cobman's going to go up top with Somner. Uh, Beck, Ellers. I would like, uh, you know what, let's give Gob the start on the left side today. Polistaris. You know, I wanted to switch those guys, did I not? Now, Petrov is, he's scoring from that position, so maybe we don't want to mess with that. But, you know what, and let's make him a, let's make him a deep-lying playmaker on support. It's a little bit more natural position for him. Just to see how, and, and you know, I wanted to give Paula Staris, I wanted to swap those two guys around for most of a match just to see if it helps us out any. It may or may not. All right, they're starting off with a pretty tired guy there at left back. Let's get creative. Still looking for our first. Uh oh, Otto Schmidt, his first of the season. Oof. All right, I got to go in and tweak that. I don't want him giving the sideline shouts. All right, we're going to need to demand more here. Ah, they're just beating our defenders off the ball. Oh, my goodness. That was almost an own goal. All right, we're focused after the shout. We have finally gotten our first shot. Demand more. All right, wow, Gob has gotten tired here, but he's rebounding quickly. Uh, ooh, an injury, and it's pretty bad. Let's, yeah, we'll sub him off at the half. All right, so let's, Malachik. Let's bring Kurt on over there. Yeah, nobody's playing great. Encourage, morale boost. Don't look like it helped any. Show some passion. All right. Everybody, our mid and our attackers got fired up there. All right, we gave up a goal last time we were here, and they get a tap in from Eduardo Munoz. Had a nice save, but nobody could clear it. And that was an easy, easy tap in. All right, I'm going to go into tactics. We're going to go back more with the attacking. See if that does anything for us. We're not playing poorly. We're just, the two goals were set piece corners. Um, they're actually playing pretty well. Heinrich for, let's go with Feichtinger. And Daniel Beck for Philip Kohler. We're going to pull that second sub here early. 
and we're going to ask them to show some passion. All right, we are getting some shots now. Uh, we're going to go up to attacking. Nothing. 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 We haven't had a highlight the whole second half. Well, that that was special. <laughs> that was special. Uh, excellent? No. I'm going to be aggressive and you don't deserve a rest because that was shit. That's my feeling. And they evidently feel the same way. Uh, so we're defeated in the second round. Gobs out for a week and a half. Coleman's loses. Board's disappointed, but we had a difficult draw. All right, let's see if we can talk to him. I really don't want to praise anything because he hasn't scored. 6'6", six, 6'4". Six, six, you know, I mean, his form's not great. He's got a 7 finishing, to be fair. He's not... Wait a minute. That, C-O, whatever that is, man... And then I click on him and it says Kosman. That's two different names. Now, maybe that's how it's pronounced. Is that an S? Is that a double S? Uh, overview set nickname. Well, I'm going to switch it to where I can actually pronounce the damn thing. <laughs> All right, so Kosman is finding it tough. So instead of Coleman, it's Kosman. I don't know. Levendorf coach slams team. That's true. We'll be back for the next match in five days. We're playing football club Livering today. Lifering, I think, is the correct pronunciation. Lifering or Liffering. We're home team. We are favored, so we are going to go with this, uh, our home tactic. And you know what? I think I'm going to move, uh, well, Barsanti's back in. Welcome back from suspension. And who is our, all right, Gob is unhealthy and he's injured. Petrov is at 87%, so we're going to rest him today. So that's going to bring Alec, that's going to bring Kosman back to the central mid. And he can, I think that's a more natural position for him, I think. Because he just doesn't have the finishing. Barsanti doesn't have great finishing either, but I think he's a more natural striker. And he's been, I think he's going to do well. I think he will at this level, at this level. Uh, Marcus Becker is a youth. He's going to get a number today, number 40. Dude, you're not very good yet. Can you see like 32 years into his career, he's getting ready to retire you know, he's going to be an all-world class player. Still wearing number 40, because that's what we stuck him with on day one. <laughs> All right, we are in the red. Like the blue and gold. That's uh, Michigan colors, but we need them to lose today. I don't like the stripes, though. Oh, that's brutal. Oh, my God. We really need an upgrade at keeper, I think. I think if I had to upgrade any one position, it would be keeper. Oh, look, just nothing but space. Oh, Sumner gets the rebound. We're on a counter. He's got people with him. Good ball out to Barsani. He's got two wide. He sends it across the keeper, and he puts it in the far post. Second goal of the season for Rossano. Oh, that looked good. I thought he had two guys open in the center of the pitch there. He had Somner and he had Ellers coming up on the left wing. He could have played it across to either one of them, and I think they would have had an easy goal. But Barsanti makes it look oh so easy. And that is how you do that. We're going to give him some praise here in the early going. Heinrich is overwhelmed. Must have been abused as a kid because he can't take positive reinforcement. All right, let's tell him to, uh, let's demand more down the stretch here. Oh, there's some pressure. 
You can tell the ones that were coddled as kids. <laughs> the wife doesn't like the storyline going on. All right. We've got an advantage. Encourage the players. No yellow cards. That's good. Let's check this tactic. Are we doing a... Uh, I'm going to tell them to get stuck in here in the early going. See how that works out. We really, really need... All right, Beck into the box. It's down. Oh, Barsani had a shot. All right, let's make a quick sub here. Uh, Heinrich, we're going to pull off for Becker. Altebrauer for Bilar. Let's do that here in the early going. Praise. Oh, there's a header away. Oh, he went through the back of him, but it was clean. At least the official didn't see it. Over the top. No, 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 no. All right, let's, uh, let's take that off. Let's confirm that. That was unlucky. Sebastian Abel with his fifth goal of the season. And Polisteris for Brosh. Yep, let's do that. Kurt is nervous. I think he's the one that got beat on the back line. Oh, we're just flying in with foot tackles there. All right, Somner comes back and controls it. He dribbles up towards midfield, lays it off to Ellers. Oh, Ellers is tackled. Ball goes out. We maintain possession. Get creative. All right, Beck. There's a header. Just goes high by Kurt. Oh, we have made all three subs. They had a player sent off. I didn't see the foul. And we could not make it count. We dominated on shots. Look at the possession. I'm going to say we got FM there. It was disappointing. So, yeah. Barsani got a goal and two key headers. So, we want to build up his confidence. It's five in a row unbeaten in the league. The cup doesn't count, but hey, five in a row. We're, we're pretty happy with that. Uh, we're in fourth position. Lens jumps above us with a win there. So they're very happy. We actually took a pretty good hit uh, from the board for losing in the second round. We do come back with Lens in the next match. Wow, this is going to be a quick episode because there were no highlights in the first match. I guess we could add a third match, but no, we're not going to do that. We're going to stick to the two match per episode format. I always wondered how people got these really quick videos, you know, 14, 15 minutes, because you don't get any highlights. I just ha have very few of those. All right, let's get to, let's get to November. We're going to play uh, Vacher Modeling and Lustenau, and we haven't played either one of them, I don't think, so we'll come back for November, give us another four games in hand. Looks like we have a pretty good gap here. Is that, uh, is there a reason for that? All right, we don't play again from November 26th, we don't play again until February 17th. Our, our, we have a golden retriever, she's snoring, if you heard that. I don't know why there's such a big gap. First season, so we'll learn together. I don't know what's going on. I don't know if that's normal. I don't know if there's something else that happens. We'll find out. Guys, hit the like button. Subscribe if you don't mind. We'll be back uh, November 5th for Vacher Modeling and Lustino. See ya. Bye.